All right, Bolo Buddies, you know I say I don't sell this item very often. <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Guess what time it is? It is time for my Sunday reseller vlog. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. We're gonna see what I sold. I'm also going to talk to you about some things going on with eBay and I have a members announcement. Also, I need you guys to tell me which jar you want me to bring to Whatnot tonight. So let's take a look at them. All right, so we're heading over here. This is super exciting. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you these jars. And you guys are going to tell me which one you want me to bring to Whatnot tonight to sell on my show. So basically, we will unjar it and I will sell as I go. Now, what's great about this, if you're from my YouTube channel and you're not interested in buying, that is completely fine. But you can still come over for some entertainment because a jewelry jar unboxing is always super fun. So... If you're not on Whatnot, you can go down below and you can join with my referral link. That will give you $15 to shop, free money, guys, to shop on Whatnot with my referral link down below. You don't have to buy anything. You can just come watch, but you do have to join Whatnot to watch. So that'll be tonight at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to show you each one of these jars. You can go over to Whatnot and you can vote. So I'm going to link that down below and there's going to be a poll this one is called the fish bowl. This one is the medium and this one is the large, but I'm going to pull them out of here and give you guys a little closer look at what is coming tonight. And you guys are picking, you're picking which jar you want to see. And we're going to unjar it and sell it as we go. These are super fun and it's great entertainment. Even if you don't want to buy, you can just come hang out and chit chat in the chat. And I would love to see you all there. All right. Here's choice number one. It's super heavy. It's a fish bowl. It's taped shut, and I will try to remember to bring my scissors to make it a lot quicker. I do not know what is in here, so this is just a hodgepodge of jewelry. So if you want the fishbowl, vote fishbowl. All right, here's the medium jar. The uh, tape is already off this one, and it's ready to go. So again, I have not looked through this. I don't know what's in there I'm trying to show you, but it's so heavy I can't even move it around. So that is the medium jar. Okay, this one is super, super heavy. Look at this knockout piece on the front. This is jewelry jar number three. Oh my goodness. No clue what's in here. This jar is massiveness. If you want to see jar, this one is called the big jar. So if you want to see this one, you can vote for the big jar. Look at this. But what is going on with this piece? But super cool. All right, I hope to see you tonight at the what not show at 10 15 p.m eastern standard time you guys go bookmark it right now and vote i would love that i'd love to see you even if you don't buy just come hang out it'll be great fun all right bolo buddies let's get digging into <laughs> all right bolo buddies let's dig into some totes and pull out our sold items and see what they sold for Oop! i just got a your buyer has made payment i sold something else so Oh, this video just got spicier. First item I sold are these cute little cropped Lane Bryant plus size 22 pants. And they've got this cute little hem on the bottom. I have quite a few of these available in my eBay store. Multi-quantity sells over and over and over again. Marked through. Just disclose it in your description and show a photo of it and you should be fine. I sell stuff like this all the time. Back when I did retail arbitrage, I would buy things at discount stores and this is what they do so you can't return it to the store. I sold this for $14.60 and the buyer paid shipping. Our clothing item going out. I usually don't show you guys my clothing items and my what solds, but this is a vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and show them. This is an item that has been listed a very long time. So... I took an offer of $8 on these. They are size zero. They are new with tags. But again, on the inside, the label is marked through. And that is pretty typical if you buy your items at a discount store. All right, you guys. So eight bucks plus shipping on the limited pants. And I do have another pair available, size zero in my store. If anybody wants some rad checkered 
pants. And my link is down below. Make sure you use code BOLOBUDDIES at checkout. If you do not make an offer, that code will work and get you a discount. Next item is over here in plush tote 11. Where, oh, where is tote 11? Plush tote 11, right over here. So this one right here literally just cha-chinged as I was doing the video. And it is this cute little lamb. This one sold for $15.50. And the buyer paid shipping, and it is by Russ. Now, I bag everything. I keep everything in bags. That is how I keep track of my inventory, and then I tote it. And I've had people ask me about my inventory system. And then I put what tote it's in there, and then you can see it on the custom SKU, and that's how I find my items. Now, do I ship in this bag? No. This is just to help me keep everything sorted and separate, and it just makes life easier especially when I have toys and I have multiples selling in one lot. So it's just kind of a thing that I've done. I reuse these bags uh, over and over and over again. So so quick question for you guys. Has this ever happened to you? So on eBay, we get offers and we send offers. Now, I sent out over 200 offers because guess what? I've been a big slacker and I have not been sending out offers does this help? Yes, send out those offers. It's very, very important to send out offers because a lot of times somebody will look at something or they will like it and then they'll forget about it. And if you send them an offer, you're sending them a discount and they just may accept the offer and get your item. Now, one thing that's bad about offers, and let me tell you if you've ever experienced this, you send out an offer. And what eBay does is the offers go out to people who have watched your item, who like your item, and it also goes out to people who have clicked on your item. And how do I know that? I know that because I have had people request to cancel because they thought I was bidding on their item. So what I think happens is somebody goes into my item clicks sell similar and because they viewed my item i send them an offer so how many of these offers that we're sending out are actually going to people that want to buy our items and how many are going to people that are resellers that are clicking on sell similar i don't know but let me know in the comments if you have ever had somebody say oh my goodness i am so sorry i don't know what happened I have this same exact item listed and I thought you were making an offer on my item and I accepted your offer, but really I was sending them an offer on mine. So what do you do? You have to go in and you have to cancel the order that the buyer asked to cancel because the buyer doesn't want the item. They have the item for sale. So this is kind of tricky. Do you guys think that we, when we send out offers that the people that, just click on our item that we should be sending offers to them or just offers to people who actually like our item? Are we wasting our time sending offers out for the ones where it's just somebody who's clicked on the item to check it out? I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I guess if somebody's checking it out and they're looking at multiple items, it could work. It could create and generate a sale. So I kind of get it, but I also am a I always click sell similar. So I get a lot of offers from people on things that I didn't actually like. So there's that too. I don't know. I don't really care either way, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. Uh, the clothing items I showed you, I think the red plaid pants came from Gabriel Brothers. I wanna say I paid like a buck or something for those. And the Lane Bryant, I think, came from a discount store called Discount Fashion Warehouse. And I probably had around $3 in those. Next item I picked up at the Goodwill Bins. And it is super cool. It sold pretty quickly. I've never seen one of these before. But when I saw it, I was like, I am definitely getting it. It sold for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Goodwill Bins item. So it is by weight. So I probably had a couple bucks in it. Let's go find it in Tote DD. All right, here is that awesome Lisa Frank. I can't believe it hasn't sold yet. Um, 
you saw that one in a Goodwill bins video. I found it. Nobody grabbed it. It was sitting in a picked over bin. So check out that Goodwill bins video to see uh, details on that. Okay, see? It's plush. It's a little ring baby toy by Eden. And it is super, super cool. And it is even machine washable. How cool is that? There you go. Again, this sold for $19 plus shipping. I think that's pretty awesome. All right, this is an announcement for my Bolo Buddies members. That means you have joined memberships for perks at level two or higher. I am doing a, this is my Bolo, but listen, you guys, I usually give you like a month to do it. I'm giving you until the end of this month. So what's today? Is it the 28th? So you have like four or five days to get me your 60 second video. If you guys wanna know what I'm talking about, it looks like this, this is my bolo. You basically create a 60 second video talking about a bolo item. You shout out your eBay store and your YouTube channel if you have one and you send it to me on Instagram or Facebook and I create a video like this. So would love for you guys to participate. Again, this is for level two and up. And oh, I just got an offer on Poshmark. I'm going to have to go over and check that out and see if it's a good one or not. Um, speaking of, I had somebody create a bundle on Poshmark and it was over five pounds. So what did I do? What I did was I put in the bundle comments, hey, this is over five pounds. I'm going to need you to take some items out or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I said, but I could not accept the offer because it may have even been, have been over 10 pounds and you can't ship anything over 10 pounds. If the item on Poshmark is over five pounds, you get charged per pound and it's a certain price. You guys can look it up, but it gets kind of pricey and that is billed to you, the seller. So you want to keep your Poshmark items under $5. If somebody bundles and it's over five pounds, you, the seller, are responsible for that additional shipping. So if you didn't know about that. All right, you guys, this is my Bolo. Get me your videos by the end of the month and I'm excited to see what you guys sold. Now, I also wanna tell you, for this is my Bolo this month, it does not have to be a huge money Bolo. It can be a bread and butter. It can be an unexpected item, something that you bought cheap and sold for a good profit. It does not have to be crazy money. Sometimes viewers, people that are watching, they prefer to see something that they're more likely to find. So feel free to put, pick something that's not necessarily big money. Of course you can bring a big money one, but I need it by the end of May, all right? Is there 31 days this month, May 31st? Get it to me by midnight on May 31st. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next sold item. This next item sold for $12.40. I picked it up at the Goodwill Benz. I always pick these types of items up and I'm gonna show you. Because it's in tote 17, I usually keep my media in a different area. I'm not sure why I chose to put it in here. Maybe just because I was listening into this tote that day. But if I don't find it here, I'm gonna guess that it's with my media. All right, is this it? Okay, here it is. It is Superbook. Now, these are a Christian-based um, DVD series, and this is sealed. If I'm at the Goodwill bins and I see any DVDs that are sealed, I pick them up. It's 59 cents a pound, so that's really pretty good. And if it's sealed, I don't have to test it, but Christian-based DVDs do really well. Again, this is a series, so somebody is probably just looking to complete their set and $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. This next item is incomplete and still sold for $14 really fast. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins. I tested it, it worked, and I'm gonna show you what that is. It is in tote L, so we're walking over to the other room to find this item. Super big shout out to everybody that bought something from my whatnot show on, what was that, Friday night? These packages are all packaged and ready to go. One thing great about Whatnot is people usually buy more than one item. So all of these boxes are stuffed full. All of this jewelry is coming to Whatnot in the future. Uh, my area is a little messy. I've got to figure out a spot to put all that. Some of it is going to be sold individually. Some of it is going to be sold in small lots. But jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. This is all jewelry going out. So I hope to see you guys tonight at my jewelry show.
Right, so again, we are heading over to Tote L and I'm gonna pull this item. I'm gonna turn on the light here. Light, woo! Okay, let's find Tote L. So Tote L is down here. So we're gonna move Tote M. We're gonna pop open Tote L and see if we can find what we're looking for. All right, here it is. It is this Paw Patrol vehicle and it actually has a thing that goes on the top and it may have another attachment that goes here. You can sell those attachments separate. This actually, I believe, came with the top, but it was cracked. So I decided to try and sell it as incomplete. And again, it sold really quickly. It is tested and in working condition. While we're in here, I sold another pair of these awesome pants. And I got a great review on the last one. Um, somebody had bought two pair off of me. These are size 22, 24. They are Lane Bryant. I took a best offer of $10 on these and I have a whole bunch listed. So if you're interested, my eBay store is linked down below. Going over to the swimsuits. This item actually sold on Poshmark and I sold it for $31. And the buyer paid shipping on that. It is this swimsuit. It's like a dress teeny, I think is what it's called. It's by Spanx. It retails for $108. I took an offer of, no, I'm sorry. They paid my price of $31. So I got to dig through all these swimsuits and see if I can find it. It is a size six. So I will be right back. There it is, size six. Woo, I was hoping I was going to find it in that crazy mess. Look at all those swimsuits. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. This next item was a viewer sale and it was purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Store. Definitely go give her a follow. She is so super supportive. I cannot even believe how many items she has purchased from me. Thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate you and let's go find it. Who needs to order bubble wrap? If you haven't ordered and you need to order, American Bubble Boy is who I use. I do have a referral link down below. You guys can go click on that. Even if you already use American Bubble Boy, I get credit when you use my link. So I would greatly appreciate it. That is linked down below. I appreciate all you guys that help me out by using my referral links. It means so much to me and it helps definitely support the channel at no additional cost to you. This one is in Plush Tote 4. And let's see. Let me see. It is a Groovy Girls and it's a doll and I think it's a couch uh, right here. I think, nope, is that it? I think I have two of them. Ah, let me see. I have to see what it looks like. Yep, that's it. So I think it's a two piece set and then it also has the doll. The doll doesn't match the set. She paid, uh, I think $24.80 for this three piece set. I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys. She did pay the shipping and what she does is she buys items from me and then she relists them in her eBay store. So if you are looking for any of these items, make sure you're following her and you can check it out over there because she's probably gonna be listing them as soon as she gets them. So you might be wondering, why does she buy from you and then put it in her store? Well, I think she's just doing that because she wants to help support the channel and that's one way of doing it. I do this on Whatnot. I buy from other resellers, other YouTubers, and I will resell the item. Sometimes I make a profit, sometimes I don't, sometimes I break even, but it's my way of showing support. And that's just, I think what she's doing here. So if you had that question in your mind, because you see me talk about her all the time, almost once a week she purchases from me. It's unbelievable and so appreciated. Thank you so much. But again, you guys, no pressure to buy from me, but always think about buying on the platforms you sell on because that helps a reseller out there. Somebody just like you and me that's selling, I buy on all the platforms I shop on. I try to shop on the platforms first, and I know I missed, mentioned this in another video, but I think it's really, really important, especially right now, when most of us are experiencing lower sales, support another reseller. Buy on the platforms you sell on, okay? That's just a little, I don't know. I think it's just a... a a nice thing to do. I don't even know if it's a reseller tip, but anyway, let's move on to the next item I sold. Oh, and I do want to mention that I was over at uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's, uh, what do you call it? Her whatnot show. And she was selling Tupperware. And I'm like, I'll be there, but I don't need any Tupperware. You want to know what I did, you guys? <laughs> I went over there and I bought Tupperware. 
I didn't realize I needed it until I saw it. I bought these awesome blue strainers like that you, you know, if you cook noodles, it like lets the water go out or if you want to rinse your blueberries or blueberries. I love blueberries. How many times have you heard me talk about blueberries? It's like one of my favorite foods right now. But um, yeah, so I bought that. And then I bought, I think, two or three other things, but I also bought an item to sell. So I'm hoping to make my money, part of my money back, by selling these awesome stencils. They're Tupperware stencils. So I'm going to list those, but everything else I'm keeping for me. Keep them for me. So anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny because I'm like, Noel, I will be at your show, but I don't need any Tupperware. But sometimes you don't realize what you need until you get there. All right, Bolo Buddies, you know... I say, I don't sell this item very often. <laughs> but I got these for five bucks at a garage sale and they were like new and you better believe I was picking them up. Looking for tote 19. And these sold for $37. So not only is it something I don't normally sell, but I made good money on them. I picked these up for five bucks. They're these moccasin style shoes. I forget what they're called. They're like, it's some weird name. That's what it looks like. These have been worn, but I'm gonna tell you, they are in excellent condition. I believe they're suede and they look really good. So I will pop up a screenshot. Sorry, they're still in a bag. I bag everything. And um, yeah, $37 plus shipping, $5 was my cost of goods on those at a garage sale. This next item was a bundle deal. They purchased two items from me on eBay. So you can always add items to your cart. I do have discounted shipping sometimes depending on what you buy when you add to your cart. So always try that option first. You also get a discount on multiple purchases when you add to your cart. So if you're buying multiple items from me, take advantage of that. Now, what I also wanted to tell you is if you guys create coupons for your buyers, that is another way to generate sales. I did a video on this. Definitely go check it out if you're not using coupons. You can send coupons to your followers. You can send coupons to people who have purchased from you. And you can have a coupon that pops up in your store that people see when they go into your items. It's automatically there. These are great ways to generate multiple purchases. So check out this video if you missed it. 29, I just had to take all of this out of this tote and I found this tucked back underneath there. So I did find it. This is a steampunk uh, style necklace, used watch parts. Somebody has probably made this. I got this at the Goodwill bins and it was bundled with another item. So I will get you the total. They paid for both items in just a second. The next item is in tote 22, which is under this one. And it is a Christmas ornament shaped like a stamp. And this was purchased with the steampunk necklace. And we are gonna see if we can find it here. I almost fell. I almost fell into the tote. That would have been really bad. Really bad. But probably would have been really good video footage. Probably would have went viral like none of my videos do. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Share this video with someone. Share it with a friend. It seems like, and let me know if you're on YouTube, if you experience this also. Seems like not only on eBay do I have summer slowdown, but I also have summer slowdown on YouTube. And I think that's because people are outdoors, they're doing things, they're sourcing at garage sales again. So let me know if you're a you pooper, a you pooper. <laughs> if you're a you pooper, if you're a YouTuber, let me know down in the comments if you have lower views during the summer. All right, here's the item. It is a uh, keepsake ornament by Hallmark. I always pick up Hallmark ornaments. And let me see where I got this. Got this in a thrift store Christmas mystery box. So probably less than a dollar in it. Okay, so it looks like the steampunk necklace and the Hallmark ornament went for $26.04. The buyer was all in for $31.22 for those two items. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. That is what has sold so far. I still have half the day left. So hopefully some more cha-chings are gonna come in. And I have my whatnot show tonight. So there will definitely be some cha-chings over there. We are going to unjar one of those jewelry jars, go over and vote on my whatnot 
for which jewelry jar you guys want me to unbox. If you missed that footage, go back to the very beginning and I show you each jar. It's gonna be loads of fun. Even if you don't wanna buy, it's kind of like a YouTube unjarring, only I'm gonna be selling as I go. So just come hang out, it'll be super fun. But use that referral link, get your free $15. Even if you don't buy from me, you might find something you want from someone else. And for all of you whatnot haters that are hesitating to go over there because it's something new, think about it. Definitely think about it. If you're a reseller and you sell on multiple platforms, think about whatnot. I do have a seller's link down below also. If you use that link, it will say that I referred you and you may get accepted quicker. I hear that when people use my link, they get accepted super quick. So that link is down below as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments for me. Let me know if you like the reseller vlog videos. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you tonight at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live show on my whatnot. Thanks for watching.